television shows? They think, about, they think that the bloggers, they think bloggers are... I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see them ratings and see how bad they're going to look. And they're going to be like, they have no power. None. People don't understand that analytics. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun. And I'm sorry I'm late. These ratings came out yesterday. But we're going to get into them now. So let's get into the data analytics. So... Last week on Love and Marriage Huntsville, they were at a season low at 238,000. This past week, we went up 48,000, right? Still in the 200s, not yet to the threes, 286,000. So it went up a little bit. But I think they're really, I know one specific reason. And then it was kind of a letdown, and I think there's something else. So let's get into that. So I feel this conversation between Mel and Marceau is the reason that 48,000 people tuned in. I really do feel like that. Um, we saw it in the previews. We were excited about Mel's energy. Um, the fact that it seemed like Marceau was very enthralled, enthralled in the conversation. She came in and she asked him, did he take the advice that she had given him for the ESPO due to the fact she had another engagement? He said yes. It went on into um, her telling him that he did not have to speak to the media about the situation with her and Martel. Um, and then next week, we're going to finish this conversation. This conversation, if you didn't watch... This conversation was at the very end of the show, and it was at least, it was like the last five minutes, right? And then it said to be continued. So, I feel like if people tune in again, they will tune in to see this continuation. But the other reason they tuned in, in my opinion, is this. I think people wanted to see the interaction between uh, Martel and Trish. I really do. I did a whole run it back on them because there were a lot of things to unpack in this particular scene, right? Um, people are saying that maybe Martell and Trish have had a thing at some point. Trish talked about how she's married, but there's nothing there but paperwork. Uh, we found out that Marceau allegedly gave free parties, I think was at the movie theater after hours. We don't know if Tisha knows about that. So it was a lot that had come out of this. And I think this is a major reason people tuned in. A hundred percent. And there you have it, right? We have, it's not a season high. But it's higher than last week. It's higher than the last three weeks. And I, I, I just have to believe it's Mel and Marceau's conversation. So... It will continue next week, and we'll see how that goes. But tell me what you think about this. Do you agree with me, or do you think it was something else? It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.